All right, so this is a 2009 Deer Z400 SM that I've had for a number of years. This is, I'm the third owner. The first owner and the second owner both had it for one year. When I got it, it was in like uh, mint shape. It had a FMF Q4 pipe on it. It had been jetted. It's got like a 4x4 intake mod on it. And uh, then I did a, a number of things to it since I bought it. So we'll just do a quick walk around and show you. So I've got these uh, replacement mirrors. They're quite good. I don't remember the brand of them, but they're uh, hooked on with RAM mounts. Added the uh, braid, braided uh, brake lines to it. Installed a uh, happy trail switch holder. There's no switches in it. There is a, uh, a light here, which I'll explain when I start the bike. It's for uh, battery voltage. It has uh, Zeta guards on it. Not currently installed, but it has uh, Zeta aftermarket sliders for the uh, front and rear axles. The front's off, the rear is on. Has a happy trail rack on the sides. Has a Tons fabrication rack on the back. Comes with uh, some other stuff in the background you can see. It's got a brand new front tire on here. And it's got a, uh, a very good rear tire. You just check to see what brand they are. The, uh, I think they're Avon. It's hard to see right now. So it's got a uh, Scorpion skid plate on it. It's got uh, case guards on both sides of the engine. It's got Scorpion uh, radiator guards. If you can see in there or not. So this is built to be an adventure bike. I've used it off road quite a bit, so it's uh, it shows it, but it was well taken care of. Only reason I'm getting rid of it is that I didn't use it last year. I don't see myself using it this year either. I've got some other things I need to do. So I decided that I'm going to let go of it. And then uh, when I have time to ride again, I'll just buy another bike. So it's not that I'm selling it that I need the money or anything like that. But uh, like I said, there's no reason for it to sit around here. So it's got a, a set of uh, S wheels so you can go off-roading. There are uh, DOT knobbies on it. And these are Kenda Trackmaster, I believe. And these are both essentially new tires. I've gone through one rear tire, but you can still see the uh, knobs on the front tire. So the fronts last a very long time. Then this rear, it's been on the road for, well, it's got a couple hours on anyway. Still got the knobs on the side. And it's got the uh, SM brake rotors on it which you will need if you want to uh, switch wheels back and forth. It's got a Happy Trail 33 liter box for the back. It's got the original pipe, should you need it. If you're gonna go off-roading with the pipe that's on it, the FMF Q4, you should put a uh, spark arrestor in it that doesn't have one. And it's got an edge uh, tail light on it. And this box is a bunch of random stuff. There's an extra air filter cage here so you can switch filters quickly. Some air filters, I don't know if they're any good or not. I'd go over them before I put them on. Spare carb. I bought a box of parts from a guy that put a bigger cylinder on his bike and put an upgraded carb on it. So there's a spare cylinder and piston here. I wouldn't reuse the rings. You should replace the rings if you're going to use that cylinder, but there's no need to at this point. There's gaskets and O-rings and stuff. Like I take care of my bike very well. So I always had spare parts laying around ready to go to do just about anything. So anyway, lots of little odds and ends in there. So overall, it took me a couple of years to put this bike together. It wasn't an easy feat to find everything. So I'll get it started, pull the choke out. So it usually, uh, don't be alarmed if it stalls when I put it into gear the first time. Depending on how warm it is, it's just the uh, nature of the beast with the carbureted bike. So just pull the carburetor here. Fuel is set to on. Should be primed and ready to go. It hasn't run today. Exhaust is cold. So I should say that I've took the uh, decompression system off the cams 
on here. There's a spare set of cams if you don't like this, but it's uh, for reliability. You should uh, take the decompression system off the cams, but it makes it, you got to bump it a couple times for it to start. The battery is brand new as of just a few days ago. stage of the uh, choke, I just turned that off. So we'll see if we can crack the throttle or not. It might stall the first shot. No, I guess we're good. So sometimes the first time you give it a crack there, it stalls out, but that's nothing wrong with that. It's the way it is. Like I said, the bike's in good shape. I'm taking it to the garage tomorrow to get a safety done on it. I just changed the rear brakes on it. They're kind of worn. damaged by uh, the water and whatnot. It's got a good sound when you're riding it. So uh, I think uh, you'll enjoy the bike. It's a good adventure bike. So uh, I think, uh, like I said, it'll take you a few years to find all the parts that I put on it. So uh, if you're looking to go for a long ride right away, this is probably your best bet. So uh, thank you for watching and give me a call.